Hey, more video for the truck, the 77 Chevy K20. I'm wanting to build a 383 stroker and my 383 rotating assembly came in today, made by Eagle. I'm gonna go over some of the parts. It's a balanced match set, which means the flex plate is balanced with the crank, the rods, the pistons, and the harmonic balancer. They've all been balanced together. So here's the flex plate, part of the kit. And it looks like this might be the crankshaft. Let's take a look. Uh, open this. Let's see here. This looks to be all the rotating assembly except the crankshaft. So let's take a look at this. This looks to be the harmonic balancer. Nice. 383. 383. Nice balanced harmonic balancer. Okay. Looks to be bearings. More bearings. Piston rings. More bearings. Performance connecting rods. Let's take a look at one of them. Oh yes, nice. Nice I-beam connecting rod, very nice. Very nice. Matching seal pro pistons. There we go. Nice new piston. Thirty thousandths over, or four that, or four point three zero inches, or four point zero three zero inches. It's got, looks like it's got some coating on the skirts. Less wear. Very nice. Set of eight. Very nice. All lightweight and matched. Very nice. This here is a Summit Racing. 383 prepared block. It's already got all the machining required and a 030 or 4.030 bore. It's already bored to fit 4.030 bore and a 3.7 
It's built for a 3.750 stroke crankshaft, which I have in the kit. And I have the I-beam connecting rods. So this block has been prepared for the stroke. It's been machined for the stroke. And it's got a four point or four bolt main, which means it's got one, two, three, four bolts on each of the mains. The main bearing. Yep, there you go. So it's a prepared block. You can see it's been machined to accept the stroker crank. It's got machining all the right places. And it's a new block, completely remanufactured, bored, honed, everything's been ready and lined up for the 383 stroker. A real good deal for about $770, so that's a really good deal at Summit Racing. So that... And now we're going to look at the Eagle crankshaft. I also ordered some small block Chevrolet Speedmaster heads. These heads have 2.02 .02 intake valves, 1.60 exhaust valves, dual hard springs. And I'll show you this head. Here's the exhaust side of the head. Here is the head face. There's the 2.0, 2.02 intake valve, 1.60 exhaust valve, 64 chamber CCs. And here's your intake ports. Nice and big, like 220 CCs. There's my dual, dual spring valve springs, which are set nice and hard. Good for, good for around, gosh, almost 600 thousandths, yeah, 600 thousandths of lift, 0.6 lift. Anyway, I might be getting the stats a little bit wrong, but look at these nice small block Chevy heads. Very good job with Speedmaster 79 on eBay. A set of heads like this, very expensive. But I got myself a good deal on them. Nice aluminum heads for just over $560. So not bad for a good pair of heads. Very good to very good to build this 383 stroker I'm getting ready to do. The heads make a lot of power on your engine and these heads look like they're going to make a lot of power. Very nice. Well done. And last but surely not least, the 3.750 stroker crank from Eagle. Eagle Performance. Let's take a look at this crank. Nice. Look at that. Beautiful crankshaft. Nice and balanced. Big stroker crank for the 383 stroker. Well, hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. I'll quickly go over the prices that I paid, which is a very good deal. The entire Eagle rotating stroker kit, which came with the pistons, the rings, the i beam connecting rods, the Sealed Pro 030 bore pistons to give you 4.030 inches of bore, and the crankshaft to give 3.750 inches of stroke to equal a 383 stroker. And the whole rotating assembly with 
pistons, crank, harmonic balancer, all matched with the flex plate, the rods, the pistons, the rod and main bearings. Everything you need for the balanced rotating assembly for around $950, which is a really good deal considering which, what most Stroker assemblies cost. So I'm doing this 383 build on a pretty good budget. You know, $950 for the rotating assembly, the special 383 prep block from Summit Racing for 700 and, eh, 700, almost $780. The dual heads, the set of aluminum 202 heads, very lightweight, big valves, big ports. I got both of those heads for $560. So, so far this budget build is doing really well. And I hope you enjoyed this video and bad boosting.